What's up, lawn crew? I'm gonna do a quick video about disease and grubs and all sorts of summer heat stresses that you'll be dealing with in the heat of July and August when your lawn is stressed to the max. Should be just a quick video. Starting off, I'm in my backyard. It is about 86 degrees today. Right now, actually, it was about 95 earlier today, but take a look at this. I've been watering this little patch of grass back here and I've got some little brown patches everywhere. Can you guess what that might be? I'm guessing brown patch, most likely, which is actually some sort of fungus disease. So I started pulling this back a little bit and this is how you investigate what sort of issue you have and how to treat it. So if you have grubs, the best thing you can do if you have, see like a patch that's bad, don't be afraid to get in here and start pulling your grass back. If you have like a little spade or something you might be able to dig down and you can start to pull it back, look for any sort of like little like grubs or any sort of little white insects or you know anything like that that might actually be like an indicator to what sort of problem you're dealing, dealing with. If you dig down like maybe a half inch beyond the, sur beyond the soil surface you'll be able to see some bugs then you know that you have an insect problem so then you want to get a product that you can apply a granular insecticide to your lawn and that'll take care of that issue. There's a couple of products that are specifically designed for grubs and things like that. Scott's Grub X is one of them. But this problem in particular, I believe I'm having a fungus issue. So if you look down here, this grass, give it a little tug. This stuff is good and firm, so we know that that is healthy. And this is some good patch of Kentucky bluegrass on my back lawn here. But this little patch right here is problematic. So it's kind of looking like it's dead, hoping that it fills in later on. In the, in the late fall, but check this out. Just a real light tug and everything just kind of falls right out. That tells me that there is something wrong here, it's dead. You know, I, I look down closer and you can see things aren't looking so good. There are some issues with circulation, I guess is the way to put it. Uh, not enough air is getting down there and it's staying moist, which makes sense because it's right alongside the house here and not enough sunlight gets back here. So I believe it is a sort of fungus disease and you see how this grass is just all pulling up. It's loose. That is no good. So, you know, if I look down here, it's really wet and it's breaking down. You know, you'll see a lot of issues like that for usually a fungus issue. There's two different products that I'm going to recommend today depending on the type of issue that you're facing. If you have grubs, Scott's Grub X is a good thing. If you have a fungus issue, you're going to want something that's going to act as a fungicide. So Scott's Disease X is what you're going to want. Or really any generic version of the two that have similar active ingredients. That's basically what you're going to be looking for to fix all these summer issues. Moving on. You see I've got a few other patches here. This might just be drought stress as far as I know. This doesn't look dead. You can pull at it. It's still good yet. You know, it's not coming up. We dig down a little bit here. I don't see any issues with the soil or anything below like the root surface here. So I think this is probably just some dormant patches here. That should be okay. So I like to do the tug test. That's a good sure way to just find out kind of are you dealing with stresses of drought and heat. If the grass is still like, if you tug at it and it doesn't move, it's good and rooted yet, you're probably okay. It'll, it'll recover as soon as you get some rain. But if it pulls up, you got a problem. Now this patch, I'm not really sure what happened here. I don't think anything was spilled here. It almost looks like somebody left a toy on the lawn or something. This is totally burned out. Now I tug at the grass, it's in there really good. So I think this is not diseased in this case. There might be something growing underneath here. I'm not really sure what could be causing this. It might just be a burnout from maybe a window reflecting on it getting super hot in this area. It could be just drought stress, but you know, it's kind of odd that there's just a couple little patches like you're seeing here. So if anybody has any ideas what you think this might be, it's just, you know, totally baked. This grass is burnt to a crisp. So I'm not really sure. It looks like there's some coming back. You can see the little green bits way down in there. So it is recovering. But again, I'm not really sure what caused that. So anyway, this is just a few of the issues that I'm dealing with in the heat of the summer. 
You got certain types of grass that are just dormant. A lot of fescue back here that's dormant. Over here by the place that that's really green yet. You know why? That's pretty much straight Kentucky bluegrass and it's also shaded during the day from objects. So that helps cool the lawn a little bit because it's not getting direct sunlight for eight or, eight or nine hours a day. So there's parts of the lawn that are much more stressed than others. Around that tree, it's looking pretty good. If you look out here, I get direct sunlight with nothing shading it. You can see the color is just not the same as it is over here. So that's just a couple of factors taken to account all the environmental factors, where the grass is in your lawn, where the sun hits it. You know, behind my garage here, I'm not getting hardly any sun, so that's why I have disease issues, because if it does get wet there, it stays wet, and then we have problems. So anyway, I hope this uh, little diagnostic video helped you out today. If you got any questions, hit me up in the comments. Go ahead and hit subscribe if you want to see more of this. Thanks for watching.